start by drawing a picture. Here's the hill. I'll call this point O and this T for the top of the hill. And we want to find that height right there. We're told that from some point B, the angle of elevation from B to the top of the hill is 68 degrees. Then we're told that the surveyor moves 140 feet directly away from the hill to point A and the angle of elevation to the, from A to the top of the hill is 55 degrees. And this distance right here from A to B is 140. We also don't know the distance from B to O, so let's call that X. So we have two unknowns, X and Y. Usually when you have two unknowns, you need two equations involving X and Y. One of them deals with this triangle right here, triangle BOT, that's a right triangle. And in that right triangle, the tangent of 68, whoops, it's 63, I just see that right now. The tangent of 63 is equal to opposite over adjacent, y over x. And in the big triangle, triangle AOT, again, a right triangle, the tangent of 55 is equal to opposite y. The distance from A to O can be represented by X plus 140. So now you have a system of two equations with two unknowns. <clears throat> One way to solve a system like that is the substitution method. So if we isolate Y for the first equation, we get Y equals X times the tangent of 63. And now I can take this value. Oh, let me go to black. And substitute it for Y in the other equation. So our new equation with one variable is tangent of 55 equals X tangent of 63 divided by x plus 140. Now, the problem with doing it this way is that we will have found the value for x. We'll still have to go back and solve for y. So once we found x, we put that in here for x times the tangent of 63 to get the value of y. And that's probably easier than isolating the y or the x to begin with uh, because it gets pretty complicated. So how do you solve this for for x, well, if we multiply tangent of 55 times x plus 140, we get this. And if I distribute this tangent of 55 over the terms inside the parentheses. I get this. Now I'd like to isolate the X. So what I'm going to do is transpose this term or subtract X tangent of 55 from both sides. So 140 tangent of 55 equals x tangent of 63 minus x tangent of 55 
factor out an X from the left hand side. I'm sorry, the right hand side. Tangent of 63 minus the tangent of 55. Uh, let's move over here and get x equals 140 tangent of 55 divided by x tangent of 60, whoops, tan, just tangent of 63, sorry. minus tangent of 55. So if perform that calcul calculation on your calculator. Get a value for x. Let me write this here. Whatever value you get for x, you'll substitute back into right here. But you know, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Let me move this down here. Uh, and you'll get the height of the hill. There you go.